Now, 99.5% of the votes have been counted. 51.9% are pro-Brexit. Martin Schulz, the president of the European Parliament, will discuss with Angela Merkel to this morning how to avoid a chain reaction now the UK has voted to leave the EU. The historic British rejection of the EU's rule has sparked renewed ambitions to leave the clutches of Brussels across Europe. First to congratulate Britain was Holland's Gerd Wilders uh, from, from Holland. Uh, from the right-wing populist Dutch Freedom Party, he is uh, the leader of that party, and he calls now for a Dutch referendum as soon as possible. S&P 500 and Nasdaq e-mini futures plummeted 5% early on Friday, hitting overnight limit down thresholds and have been stopped from trading. What comes after minus 5%, that's uh, what you can see in Japan, where the Nikkei dropped 10% below yesterday's close. The DAX opened up 1,000 points in the negative zone. Gold is trying again to break the technical downtrend. It spikes higher by 6%. If it closes above um, $1,307, which looks probable right now, we are above $1,330. We are getting one step closer to a potentially new multi-year bull market in the precious metal. Not closer, but farther away, we move from the specter of rate hikes by the Federal Reserve, all to the contrary. Central banks are getting ready to step in to try to fence and control the fallout from Great Britain leaving the EU. Now, what has happened is what I've been warning um, about in the last videos. Expectations can be disappointed. Now, we can expect a strong reaction by the ECB and the Bank of uh, England, perhaps together with other central banks and also together with the G7 countries, who have yesterday also pledged coordinated action to like stabilize um, uh, the markets. And while this might indeed help to stabilize markets, it might not be enough to bring prices back into the green, given the fact that equity markets rose so sharply in the expectation that UK will remain in the, EU, in the uh, European Union. So good luck everyone today. This is so far um, a wrap up of the situation uh, where the markets stand right now. Um, there's a lot to happen and uh, it's going to be an exciting day. Good luck for everyone who is uh, trading today.